Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and these are the weekly horoscopes. And what am I? This, this is the weekly horoscopes and tarot reading for the week of July 10th to July 14th, 2023. Hey, for all zodiac signs. Hey guys, what's up? I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Just a reminder: these videos are shot live on Thursday and Saturday, and uh, then I edit the video and. I put it out for everyone else. And if you want to take part in the live stream, just tune into the channel on Thursdays or uh, Saturday, uh, usually in the afternoon, right? Lunchtime afternoon. And come hang out with us. So if I get distracted, it's because I'm goofing off with the sunny siders over here in the background. And that's just the action. All right, what else is going on? So here's the format of the video. We're going to have a little bit of notes. And then we're going to do an astrology reading for you guys. And then we're going to a general astrology reading, an overview, and then a tarot reading, a uh, general tarot reading where we guess the tarot cards because this is a psychic channel. We have a psychic league on the channel. Monday, Wednesday, Friday evenings. We get, you know, we have a psychic league. Tune in at night if you're interested in that. And what else is going on? And then individual signs after that. They're not, I don't usually put timestamps in the live stream, uh, but there are almost, there, there'll be timestamps in the video. And that's the deal. Please share the video when it comes out with anyone who messages or whatever, and subs whatever, subscribe, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so here we go. So that's the action. What's coming on with us? So here are the notes. First up, tomorrow or Sunday, this Sunday is Sunday with Sunny. We might have a guest reader um, come on. Elle from Obsidian Lotus Tarot might come on tomorrow, might not. It all depends how she feels. Whatever, no pressure. I'm not bugging anybody to do anything. And so, but ghosts, but we are supporting, like we are, we want everybody to succeed here. So, uh, and so that's what we're pushing. And that might happen tomorrow. If it doesn't, I'll be on tomorrow. Sunday was sunny. And then next week, we're probably going to do our members only, our private thing that we do. And that's the deal. So that's the main message happening now. Uh, and that's what's going on in the channel. Huh. <sighs> Next, <laughs> next, let's get on with it. Oh man, also, Wing One and I are in last place in the Psychic League. <laughs> All right, next, if you guys wanted to know that. All right, we're finally back and we're in last place. All right, here we go, here we go. So, what's going on this week astrologically for you guys? So, okay, so Mars is moving on. I mean, this, this is the news. This separation right here is the astrological news. Venus is preparing retrograde motion, right? Preparing, uh, it's it's in its shadow, right? It's covering its period right now. Every Everything that's happening in love and attraction right now, you're going to repeat it. And it's going to get super awesome, and then it's a thing. So let's just, let's just, so let's just, let's, so just think about this for one second. I was explaining this last night. The Right now, what you're going through right now is normal, okay? This is the normal. The falling in love feeling that you're getting or those connections or the dreamy vibe or the, hey, baby, what's the action? You know, any kind of thing like that that you're going through right now, whether it's working out with someone, whether it's not working out with someone, it's, um, this is normal. There's a, okay, it's not, it's, okay, this, that feeling is normal. The Venus is normal. And then, now, we have other things competing with that Venus, right? Like, Saturn is causing problems, right? Saturn is causing problems with some of the signs, with, with and Saturn is, you know, is causing problems. Saturn is causing problems, and Pluto, which is very active right now, is causing a lot of problems. So, take it all with a grain of salt. Uh, having said that, okay, and those energies will move on eventually, but they might take like a year and a half. So, you mean a year and a half of problems in love, Sunny? Yes, I do. I really do. And some of you are going to have a year and a half problems financially. Some of you are going to get divorced. Some of you are going to get really sick. This, this is what's going on. So, Amy was bit by a dog yesterday, right? This is happening. Now, so... This is the normal. If you're moving towards a relationship, right? Because Venus, Venus, we're speak, talking about Venus here. If you're moving towards a relationship at whatever speed it's happening, this is the normal. Now, 
when Venus goes retrograde, so like if you're looking for a job, if you just got hired, if you're thinking about, you know, get promoted or added responsibilities or you, you came into some Venus, right, money, love. What's going to happen is Venus is going to go turn retrograde. And for many of you, it's going to feel as if this situation is too good to be true. And not only is it too good to be true, you're going to very much do almost anything to make this work and under the Venus retrograde. But the Venus retrograde is not real. So you're go it's not real. It's just very intense. So enjoy yourself during the Venus retrograde. Go make a friend. As we say all the time, don't make don't make any mistakes that can't be undone. The summer during Venus retrograde. Now, on the other side of the Venus retrograde, we're still going to be here. <laughs> we're still here, right? It goes back and then it goes back, right? And then he retraces his, we're still we're going to be right here where we are today. And where we are today is where you're is real so that's what's going on so any connections you make right now these are real it may be difficult it may be difficult the connections may be filled with doubt you might feel ill prepared for this or you might you know be afraid or you might have to step out of your comfort zone. Or, you know, like, like there's a shifting here. And so, but but this is what's happening. And so that's what's happening. <laughs> so that's what's happening. So get out there and do it. Mars is moving into Virgo. Virgo, highly analytical, highly critical. Big grouch, man. <laughs> you know, the slightest thing. With Mars in Virgo, it's going to just freak people out. So, like, if you have, like, a nose here that, like, is hanging out a little bit, people are going to, someone's going to walk up and, like, <laughs> they're going to freak you out. So, like, what? Just be cool with all of that. In addition to all of that, Virgo energy is going to come under attack. So, that's the deal. So, what's virgo energy like james harden the basketball player i think is a virgo so people are gonna look for him to come under attack in the media <laughs> right so if you guys are virgos right like leon right where's leon like the you know i totally cussed out <laughs> in the chat not the chat on like a video about leon but like and i, I forgot all about it right here i want to apologize not not apologize but i want to thank leon for giving me the opportunity to express myself and vent because I didn't really get it out of my system. And she gave me that little platform to get it out of my system. And I appreciate it. Thanks, Leon. You're the best. All right, next. And so, next, <laughs> next. Are you okay, Cray? Cray, I don't even remember what I said. Are you okay? The, um, all right, next. Let's move on. <laughs> so, let's move on. So, what else is happening so that's the venus okay that's the venus coming back into leo money is good for cancer um money is good for cancer transportation communication good for gemini's virgo energy is under attack what do you want <laughs> there's the deal we'll talk about more in the individual horoscopes so that's the deal guys that's what's going on with the individual scopes venus is coming back mars is moving on as far as the moon is concerned <laughs> As far as the moon is concerned, we've begun. So the moon is actually going to start up here in Aries, right? Like on Sunday, it's going to be in Aries. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, this is Taurus right here. So the moon is going to click through the north node. And when the moon hits the north node, everybody's going to go crazy. <laughs> so on Monday night, oh goodness, Monday night, we're going to be here, right? So on Monday night, Monday afternoon, Monday night, the north node is going to blow up the moon and everybody's going to get very emotional so anticipate 
people becoming very emotional in the next couple of days. Actually, they might be violent, okay, emotional and violent on Monday. So watch out for it. Or tomorrow, maybe, pro maybe. All right, next, what else? Now, as we're talking about a little bit about the phase of the moon, right? We were supposed to have that day where I discussed the moon uh, and the different phases, right? Like the new moon versus like, you know, the first quarter or a full moon and how it affects each person, right? Independent of the sign, right? We're going to talk to you guys about that. So I'm going to address it a little bit right now. Generally, right, as a general overview, because this is a general overview, as the moon arcs through this way towards the sun, you're going to find this week that everybody's going to, you're going to become more introverted this week. Everybody. More introverted, more reclusive, uh, stick to yourself, highly introspective as the week progresses. The week is going to begin kind of social for most people, slow, social, argumentative, passionate at the beginning of the week. But as the moon moves towards the sun, you'll be more and more and more withdrawn, more and more doing your own thing, more hanging back and quite frankly, less emotionally expressive, except uh, when the moon actually hits cancer, you're going to be moody. <laughs> so like there's the deal. So that's so that's the deal. So that's what's going on. It's a heads up for that. I'll talk more about the phase of the moon uh, in addition to the sign the moon is in. For those who are new to the horoscopes, I usually discuss the sign that the moon's in on the weekend horoscopes. On the weekly horoscopes, we talk a little different parts, different things in astrology. All right, next. <laughs> next, blah, blah, blah. All right, that's the astro. What else is going on? That's it. That's what you need to know. People getting moody. They're going to be more introverted, a little bit violent at the beginning of the week. People are going to be super, 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 super critical moving forward. So watch out for it. And anything that's happening with regards to love and money right now is something you should pay very serious attention to, whether you pursue it or not, because it is real and it is not going away. Well, it might go away in like October, but it's like <laughs> it's 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 going to come back in September. All right. Next. Let's move on. Okay, so here we go. Let's pick one of our little Buddha guys. And this is exactly what we're talking about today. Whoa. Okay, well, we're in the psychic groove. Watch out. Don't believe everything you think. Watch out. Don't believe everything you think. And someone just called me a dreamer. I was so shocked. I almost fell off my unicorn. That's sexy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Enough, enough. Let's get down to it. Summoning all angels, all demons, and all crazy mofos in between. Bring it, Sonny. You got it. Here we go. First up. Dun, dun, dun. Boom. The creator. Oh, the magician. Did you guys say the magician? Crap. I didn't say the magician. <laughs> so, oh, I, I, I still got a, another really pretty really cute tarot deck came in <laughs> so i'll show you guys in a couple of days all right well first up is the magician guys so you got to get your game together right it's the magician manifesting someone's going to come along to fill you with some action and you're going to want to get out there and do it it's very fast moving energy so keep your wits about you and stay on your toes let's keep your wits about you stay on your toes someone's going to come along and you're going to get really excited about something so that's the action doesn't necessarily say love or money or what but there's a dude, you're going to bump into some dude and you're going to like, that dude's going to make you feel something. Next, the Knight of uh, Knight of Wands reversed. Oh no, well, it looks like something is not happening. <laughs> so it's, or something is not really moving forward. Maybe you guys are lacking confidence right now. Okay, guys, you don't have to lack confidence. Or maybe things aren't happening as quickly as you would like them to happen. Or maybe there were some mistakes and you have to redo some mistakes. Or maybe there is some major breakup energy with you guys. Or there's some arguing happening. But like, you don't have to be like this. The, the magician, the creator, take a chance. Manifest. Do it. Do it. Come on. You don't. Look who's talking, right? Look who's talking. I'm the ones that do it, do it. And I don't do nothing. <laughs> it's like, I don't do nothing. Every time I, whatever, I'm, I'm, next, next, the teacher, wow, the teacher, 
Wow, teachers are the hair fan. All right. Well, watch out for someone who's a little grouchy. Keep it together, guys. I think what's happening is people are someone's trying to play it by the book. Right? I have like the hair fans is doing it by the book the teacher i like it's a, and it's a tough love kind of thing but it's, i don't think there's a tough love energy going on right now i think there's a bit of nerves happening and there's uncertainty there's a lack of there's a lack of faith right faith in yourself in the marchese decks this is often uh called faith and so the so have faith guys like Listen to me say this stuff to you guys, right? Like, and I, I totally don't believe, <laughs> but like, I'm a total, like, I'm the biggest disbeliever on the planet. Oh man, yeah. Well, I constantly get burned. <laughs> so, like, here ago, very publicly, I constantly get burned very publicly. Well, you guys really missing out on something. So, whatever. Ace of sticks. Ace of sticks. Yeah, you guys missing out on something, man. Like, there's some kind of action that you're supposed to have going on. And there's a lack of confidence. You don't, you're don't, you not doing it. Maybe someone ghosted each other. Or you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or you're not going to do it. Or whatever. But that's what's going on. You're not going, you're not going after it. You're not going after it. You're not going after it. Doing it by the book. Teacher, right? You're playing it safe. The hair fan, you're playing it safe. Da -na -na -na. Hey, yeah! Oh, sunny! <laughs> Sun yeah! Okay! Whoop, whoop! Okay! Yeah, the sun card! Oh, yeah! Stepping into the light, right? And I know this card is reversed, but like, whatever, man. We're gonna go like right side up. <laughs> so, like, no, we're reversing. Oh, man. So, stepping into the light, right? That new beginning happening. Everything is cool. Uh, like being beautiful, being you, the world revolving around you, like it's reversed. So like, maybe you're not, there's a lack of confidence here. In this reading, there's a lack of confidence, a, lot, a lack of assertion, a lack, of, is assertion a word? <laughs> so, there's a lack of confidence. And as such, you're not really stepping into the light. You're taking it, you're not really letting your light shine the way you should let it shine. And I'm telling you guys, you should let your light shine a little bit more. Uh, it is a beautiful day to be beautiful. It It is. And although it's not necessarily easy, you know, whatever, you know, take a chance on yourself. You know, my old hypnosis meditations, the, It's I would say, take a chance on yourself is what I would say. Whatever. All right. So there you go. One more, one more, one more. Do, 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 do. Boom. The Knight of Swords. Wow. Well, some information. Okay. Well, there you go, Sonny. If you sit in there and complain enough, maybe the information is going to happen. Someone's going to contact you guys. Watch this. Someone is going to reach. Is is someone is going to reach out? I was really thinking it's not going to happen. <laughs> like, someone is going to reach out. It's just they're not ready yet, right? They're not ready yet, and you have to respect that. Someone is going to reach out in from it's coming in the word is coming you're going to get your answers but the person's not ready yet right they're not ready don't use that as an excuse to procrastinate but that's what's going on all right next do you guys get any of these queen of cups wing one got the oh oh what do you guys get any of these strength temperance you could that's cool all right, here we go, here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at what the unicorn said. Oh, my God. Don't force it. Oh, come on, man. Seriously, all I do is force it. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Don't force it. Allow it to come to you. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Don't force it. Don't force it figure things out on your own don't force it and figure things out on your own okay <laughs> okay all right what does spirit want you to know come on spirit nice let's say something nice to the sunny side here shuffle the deck Hey, 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 Miss Audrey. Hey, 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 girlfriend. 
One of our rock stars are in the house. Audrey, alien goddess. She has her bling. She does her bling on Facebook. Everybody check out Audrey, obviously. Here we go. I hope that you can forgive me one day. This card comes up like all the time, but like, so what? Let's see if we can get a different one coming up. <laughs> I wish I could take my words back. Sure, why not, man? The Oh, look at this. They're becoming a better person. There you go. There you go. I don't want to show you guys the next stuff. These these cards really make me upset. <laughs> these, cards, these cards really upset me. I don't want to look at it anymore. All right, that's your reading for that's your collective reading for the day. I wish everyone the best. Aries is up. Next. Hey Aries, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. Um here we go. So what's your action? What's it? So here's what I'm talking about today. Mars is moving on. So this particular situation that Aries is going to find themselves in, it's not necessarily my favorite type of situation to find yourself in. <laughs> so like Mars over here for Aries is going to make them very, very busy, like nonstop busy, like literally running just to make your appointments. And you have to do it because if you don't do it, you're going to miss your appointment. And that's what's going on with Aries. So like it, it happened, like it, and we all go through it. I just, we all go through it. Like, um, like Pisces just went through it. And <laughs> now you're going through it. It sucks, but that's the way it is. On the plus side, for the rest of the summer, Aries are the most lucky sign in love. Aries is the most lucky in love. Aries, Aries rising, zero degrees Aries. You know, you guys are going to be like super, super lucky in love. I, I would, you know, lovers from the past are going to return the... Um, you're going to like, it's really, it's good. It's just, you're going to be very, very busy. You're, you're just going to be very busy. So like, that's the deal. Maybe. And so for those of you who work in the, so first Aries might get pregnant. Okay. This summer Aries might get pregnant straight up second, or they might give birth second for those Aries who work in the creative industry, Venus is there. And with Mars out, it's no longer fighting to try and get that thing. You should have sold your pro. You should have got the contract to do whatever you're going to do. And now Mars is moving on. So now is the time to do the work. Okay. Mars, Virgo, do the work, make the money and do the project. Thank you. So that's, so that's what I say. That's my two cents. Anyways, other than that, Aries, kids are going to become very important. People always trying to, you know, obviously trying to control you behind the scenes. You're probably going to be a little bit reclusive right now, Aries, and major changes continue for Aries at the office. Major changes continue for Aries at work. And that's, that's the deal. That's, per, that's what's going on for Aries. It's like, like, yeah, you're very pop, like you're popular right now. You're looking very good. Um, but it's, you know, love and creativity. You know, get out there and buy lottery tickets. Totally, totally, totally buy lottery tickets. Oh, man, I should buy a lottery ticket. Anyone who has 16 degrees Earth, buy lottery tickets. All right, next. All right, Aries. So you, your astrology looks pretty good. It's all about love, uh, creative projects, children, and you're going to be very busy. Yeah, money should be very, money should be good, but you're going to be busy. All right, next. Hey, Erica, I hope you're having a super amazing day. We're doing good. We're doing good today. Well, no, my 111 wish was to not argue with anybody. And so far, it's been good. I didn't even argue with myself. It's a, one sec. Oh, Aries, Eight of Cups. Looks like someone is, looks like someone is going to be ghosting someone. <laughs> Eight of Cups, walking away, right? This is obvious. Aries, someone's walking away from a situation, so... Heads up, 10 of, oh, wow, they're leaving one situation and they're entering into probably the best romantic situation you can enter into. This is having, the 10 of cups is having everything romantically, like, like emotionally fulfilled. So it looks like Aries, you're leaving one situation, obviously the eight of cups, and you're, you're entering into a really good situation. Oh, wow. On top of that, money is going to be really good. It, I do think, 
I do think it's a time of new projects for Aries. I, I, I do think so. Oh, look, Aries. Some good stuff's about to happen. The unicorns are telling you some good things are some good stuff's about to happen. Don't let your issues mess it up. Aries, don't let your issues mess it up. Some good things are about to happen right now. I think that's awesome. <laughs> I think that's awesome. And do, 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 finally, Aries, I wish Spirit wants you to know that they wish they had treated you better. Also, Aries, Spirit wants you to know that they're not available. So before you go chasing anybody, Aries, remember this phrase. It's going to save you. <laughs> it's going to save you. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> That's, just say that. Just repeat after me. It's <laughs> Repeat after me. I know, I know intuition is going to say, can I buy you a drink? But seriously, Aries, you should be saying, do you have a boyfriend? All right. Good luck, Aries. Get out there and have some fun. Next. Hey, Taurus. What's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. Oh, so now the deal is we're going to be a little moving towards reclusiveness this week so you know and at the top of the chart it's a little bit on the like not the safe out the outer world right the outer world is not the safest place for taurus right now okay taurus taurus rising the outer world is not the safest place you might be arguing with groups of people you might get into problems at the store you might get in problems with authority figures. The outer world is not the safest place for Taurus right now. Okay, <laughs> so watch out. Down here, something is happening. Your friends are being taken away. Maybe your job is being taken away. Uh, the outer world is not friendly for Taurus right now. So Taurus is going to be, and everybody is going to become a little bit more reclusive as the week progresses. Now, but they're going to be doing their own thing. And I'm saying it like that because with when the moon is in Taurus at the beginning of the week, it's gonna go and it's gonna blow through all of this stuff. Like it's gonna hit the north node. It's gonna you're gonna be Taurus is gonna be very moody this week. And although the moon likes it in Taurus, it's very stable. The moon's gonna hit the north node. The moon's gonna hit Jupiter. The moon's gonna hit Uranus. You know, expect some unusual emotional outbursts uh, toward at the beginning of next week. Oh man, I gotta keep my stuff together. I gotta keep it together. I better not. I better not freak out again. From now on, guys, my one eleven wish is to not freak out. <laughs> so that's what it is. Oh man. All right, Taurus. Whatever. You're gonna be fine. Just watch out for being a little weird, Taurus. You're gonna be fine. Watch out for being a little bit weird. You should really take care of yourself this week. You know, deal your own thing. Now, this little split that's happening. Good things are happening to Taurus at home, right? That's the deal for the rest of the summer. For the rest of the summer, Taurus, renovate the house, throw the, <laughs> the barbecue. <laughs> I told one. All right, next. <laughs> and then, so the home, uh, invite people op over, but Mars is heating things up in romance. So Mars doesn't always mean problems, like it does mean problems. Well, I'll tell you what it means. Taurus, you're probably going to be very romantically inclined in the next uh, month and a bit. Um, for the rest of the summer, I would imagine that Taurus is going to be exceptionally romantically inclined. Um, Taurus is going to have to watch out for accidental pregnancies. And Taurus is going to have to watch out for problems with children. Accidental pregnancies and problems with children for Taurus. You're going to have to watch out for problems with children like abortions miscarriage all that kind of stuff watch just watch out for it but having said all of that it's a very creative time for taurus and it's extreme like very very romantic and playful time for taurus just trying not to get pregnant all right next all right let's see what these little ghosty dudes say here Hey, right on, Audrey. July 14th. You're going to go in July 14th. Nice. 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 We'll talk a little later because I am I have a thing planned too. All right. Next. The high priest is reversed. So you don't know all the information. Okay. So something is being hidden from you. Uh, someone might have given you false information. Someone might be hiding something from you on purpose. Watch out for a little bit of dishonesty. Something is going on 
that Taurus, you don't know. Okay, so watch out. Something is going on. It's being purposely hidden from you. Be careful with it. Then the page of wands reverse, right? Maybe you're lacking confidence. Maybe someone is running around being a bit of a ch very childish. I was going to use a different word, but for some reason, for some reason, I'm cleaning up my language today. <laughs> I don't know why, why would I clean up my language? Today, my language is cleaning up. All right, so Taurus. <laughs> so Taurus, something is being hidden from you. You can't move forward. Someone is being very childish. What are you going to do? Right? And you, you, they're just being childish and hiding stuff from like on purpose. Look, and you can't get go. You can't get started. Taurus, something is going to happen this summer where you, well, this week, you're going to realize that you're not going to be able to, to get started, right? Something is going to get in your way. It's, it's okay. You're just going to not see something, right? The high, pre maybe you're going to have car problems. <laughs> so, although I don't see Taurus with car problems. I think I see accidental pregnancy with Taurus. Oh no, look at this Taurus. The unicorns want you to forget fear, forget fear, Taurus. No way. Fear lies to your face, Taurus. Fear, let it go. No fear for the bulls. Uh uh. No, Taurus, no fear. And finally, Taurus, what does Spirit want you to know? I can't stop thinking about you. Mm, that's pretty cool. Taurus, there you go. I can't stop thinking about you. Well, that's the action, man. <laughs> that's the action. Good. All right, good luck, Taurus. I wish you the absolute super duper best. Please subscribe to the channel and, uh, you know, Wish you the best. Next. Hey, Gemini, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. So as we're traveling through here, right, as we're arcing through, so the you're going to be extra reclusive this week, Gemini. With the moon cruising through Taurus, you're going to want to hold back, right? Maybe you're going to want to hang out in the backyard. You're going to just, you're going to just want to chill out and maybe do things in secret or do things in private so get ahead go out go ahead and do it right there's also a possibility you're going to be very um introspective right you're going to spend a lot of time in your head at the beginning of the week gemini just sitting there just trying to figure things out uh, just trying to figure things out so and that's the deal i wish you the absolute best all right what's next moving forward some interesting things are happening with communication and transportation with gemini's you have to, um, so when you're dealing with Gem, so Gemini communication and transportation is a big deal. You might, um, you know, you might get a car or a computer or a cell phone or something like that. Uh, good things happening to your brothers and sisters, but, uh, you might be publishing a lot, right? Writing a lot, getting out, communicating a lot. The, um, problem is you very much should not, should not, should not, um, buy a car, computer, or cell phone this summer when Venus is retrograde. And the problem is, it's right there. And as you guys look into the world, you'll see that there are major deals right now, especially on cell phones. <laughs> so be very careful as you're going through all of that. Now, starting this week, right, as we move forward, starting this week, as Mars enters into Virgo, you're going to be spending a lot of time uh, addressing needs at the house, Gemini. So like, you, you might be, Gemini's might be moving this month. You might be moving, renovating the house. Uh, you might get a rent increase or something might break at the home. Someone might steal something from your house. Just watch out for all of that. A lot of energy uh, and fire energy in particular being applied to the house. So watch out for that kind of situation. There's also a possibility that something, you know, you might have some argument with your parents or something, Gemini. So watch out. You might not have the family support that you thought you had. Gemini, you might not have the family support that you thought you had. There's a possibility you might be moving soon. Watch out for all of that. In addition to all of that, just to let you guys know, although, you know, we went over it endlessly, as we're arcing through, as the nodes are arcing through, Gemini, your romantic relationships are dissolving or your concept of love and your concept of creativity is dissolving right now. And that's the deal, man. And that's the deal, Gemini. It looks like a bit of a reclusive week. Probably talking on the phone. Taking care of things at the home. Not really a big deal. You're having problems publicly as well. There are a lot of restrictions publicly. When Geminis are out in the world, there's probably a lot of traffic. or There's either a lot of traffic or construction. I would imagine a lot of construction for Geminis. 
all right that's the deal everything else is okay gemini's are entering into a entering into right now a two-year cycle of massive publicity except the beginning of this cycle uh leads to infamacy right so you get the beginning of the cycle is a little tricky for many of you but you're you're entering into this cycle all right next all right let's do it Gemini, here we go. Gemini, da -na -na -na, four of wands, four of swords, right? So there's like nothing you can do about it, right? It's just pure meditation, not meditation. Well, some decks call this the card of meditation. <laughs> so just there's not really anything you can do about it, Gemini. You have to resign yourself to the fact that you got to do what you got to do, and that's just what you got to do, and then you got to move on. Oh, look, the magician is right here. So there's not really anything you can do about the situation, but i'm telling you i don't think there's any reason to give up right very seriously so so there's not much you can do about it but i don't think you can give up oh wow and then the eight of cups you're absolutely walking away from the situation well look at that absolutely walking away from a situation Good. that's fascinating all right next 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 look at this gemini it says Things are about to get real. There we go. Things are about to get real. Gemini, watch out. Things are about to get real. Wow, you need your people around you. I do. <laughs> Stuff's about to get real, Gemini. Good luck. Oh, man, good luck on that. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know, Gemini. Mm -hmm. I remember every detail of that day. Gemini, I remember every detail of that day, and I feel you leaving me behind. Gemini, I feel you leaving me behind. Good luck, guys. I wish everyone the best. <laughs> That's the deal, Gemini. Good luck. And I'll see you guys soon. Next. Hey, Cancer, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Let's see what's going on here with Cancer. Wow, so Cancer, money is like your deal for the rest of the summer. All right, Cancer, Cancer Risings. You should really... <laughs> cancer Moons. Cancer Moon will spend a lot of time making money this summer as well. Actually, most cancer energy is gonna is most cancer energy is gonna spend the rest of the summer in pursuit of money, and they're gonna be working their butts off. All cancers, uh, cancer sun, all the, anything with a strong cancer energy is gonna be. Uh, you should be attracting money and working on the things that make you comfortable and stable for the rest of the summer. Now, I would recommend. That because this is an extended transit, I would recommend that you don't spend money. However, something is going to happen where cancer is going to be forced to spend money. And I think what's going to happen is there's, there's a strong possibility of uh, rapid movement for cancers. So and, and rapid movement that's going to cause accidents. So cancers in the next little while have to watch out for car accidents right cancers watch out for car accidents watch out for arguing with people right cancer energy you're going to be very vocal cancer energy might argue with people on the internet and they they're just going to argue with people they're going to yell and scream so that's the deal watch out again for car accidents what else do you need to know uh, this is a very, very popular time for cancer. So you should use your popularity. You should use your popularity to make as much money as you can right now. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity to make the real money with this extended Venus transit. And that's the deal. That's the deal, cancer. Everything else is pretty chill. Something is happening. So I would, you know, you have to watch out for car accidents, right? Fighting with your brothers and sisters, breaking your cell phone, breaking your computer. And something is about to happen where cancers are living. So either cancers are going to, you see, and Pluto's going to arc back in here eventually, right? So, and it's going to come back to affecting cancer shared resources later on in the year. So that would be like your roommate or something or someone paying for you. So cancer... You know, something is happening at the home. So be prepared to move, right? Cancers, be prepared to move. Uh, Geminis, be prepared to move. Cancers, be prepared to move. And um, you'll see 
like so, like it's dissolving like maybe your building gets torn down right or your house gets renovated or something but that's the deal cancer i wish you the absolute best this is a very it's a good time for you to be popular so get out there and be popular all right next All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Hey, Spirit Girl, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back. Here we go. Ten of Cups. Oh, hey, Cancer. Ten of Cups is great. These cards are so cute. Lots of love. Hey, Cancer, lots of love is waiting for you, like real love. Maybe you're going to reconcile with someone. Cancer, maybe you're going to reconcile with someone. Maybe you're going to fall in love. Maybe you're going to get married. But this is totally happily ever after is happening for Cancer. Oh, my God. Maybe you're going to meet somebody at work. Cancer, maybe you're going to meet somebody at work. Um, astrologically, I don't see you meeting someone at work. <laughs> you might. You might. More friends into lovers. There's a wound at work, Cancer. There's a wound. There's a very public wound that you're going through uh open and expressive so i don't know about meeting someone at work but like maybe maybe cancer but things seem to be working out for you work hard work hard work hard eight of cups right and then the star card so there's you know there's hope there's hope like whatever you're hoping for it looks like if you keep working it's going to work out for you next oh no cancer you think someone is lying. Oh, no, Cancer. You think someone is lying. They are. Oh, no, Cancer. You think someone is lying. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> All right. Next. Next. And -da 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 -da. I wish Cancer Spirit wants you to know that they wish they treated you better. Uh-huh. And they can't stop thinking about you. Cancer. They wish they treated you better. And they can't stop thinking about you. All right. Well, there we go. I hope you have a super amazing day, Cancer. You know, I wish you the absolute best. All right. Next. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, Leo. Welcome back to the sunny side. I hope you're having a super amazing day. Let's check your, let's check your action out wow wow okay so it's like it's okay it's okay that's not what the wow is the wow is this excuse me leo leo energy um okay so leo's first you have to watch out for pimples okay <laughs> leo watch out for pimples watch out for like facial blemishes you you are attracting right now very sincerely leo you're absolutely attracting right now and you're looking very good there's like leo leo rising specifically leo risings and i know you're not going to listen to me on this one but like leo don't do any weird tattoo thing this summer <laughs> leo risings don't do it just watch out for it Hey, Nitty, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. Oh, my goodness. You're a Leo rise. Oh, no, wait. You're a Leo rising? Oh, man, I'm telling. Don't get any weird tattoos right now, right? Keep it nice. Keep it cool. And you're attracting a lot this summer. You're going to be looking really good. You'll have lots of choices. You'll be very lucky in love. There's a little bit more to this. Let me just point some astrological stuff out to you guys. Um... I'm talking about Venus in the first house, right? Venus, I'm actually speaking about Venus being retrograde in the first house right now. Getting ready. To, that's what I'm talking about. Now, Venus retrograde in the first house. I don't like, you, obviously, you look really good. If it's in your natal chart, it'll give you a mole on your face. But like, that's a lot of energy there that's going to be retrograde, especially when the sun and Mercury come and they all gang up in the first house. So when you have all that energy in the first house, that leads to that leads to problems in relationships. So, Leo, you might end up having a little bit of problems in relationship. It can lead to divorce. It te technically mean, means problems with the in-laws, but it also pulls in from up here and up there. Leo, you're going to have like you're going to have an opportunity to travel this summer. Leo, you'll have an opportunity to travel um, and you're going to look really good. 
and love is going to be very good. And Leos, some Leos are going to get pregnant this summer. However, it's not the greatest for the relationships with your partner or the in-laws. I know, weird, right? So you're looking really good. Great for fling. <laughs> great for travel, fling, and having kids. Not the greatest for relationships. So that's the deal. Heads up, Leo, watch out for it. The next thing you have to watch out for is things are going to get very, very expensive, right? As Mars arcs through, you're going to like, it's just going to get expensive. You're going to be, you're just going to have a lot of expenses. Uh, be careful. You're going to be tempted to spend a lot of money. But I don't think, I think for the most part, you guys should not spend as, you know, you should resist uh, the temptation to spend money. Seriously, just watch out for it. In addition to all of that, you it's not... You know, so of all signs, Leo, I mentioned this before, Leo, Leo rising specifically needy. You, if you're a Leo moon, you're going to fall in love. Okay. Leo moon falls in love. Leo rising is going to have, you're going to spend a lot of money. So what else is happening? You're going to, what's going to happen is Mars over here is going to oppose Saturn later on. Leo, it's going to cause some problems. Right. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. I'll tell you when it happens later on. As you move through, though, Leo, you have to watch out for car problems as well. Starting this week, Leo, watch out for car problems. Next. Well, I was going on too much. We have to get back to the. We got to keep it on track here. <laughs> we got to keep it on track. Uh, if you want to know more, go to the extended reading in the members. I don't do extended readings. <laughs> Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Hey, six of cups. Oh, so cute. You know, soulmate connection. Leo, right? Keep a soul. Keep your eyes open for a soulmate connection. Maybe someone from the past. Maybe a childhood friend. Maybe a twin flame kind of vibe happening. But there's definitely love. Oh my God, there's love and money happening. Wow, a past. So Leo. Leo Risings, look for a soulmate connection. Maybe the guy's got a lot of money. Maybe he wears a monocle and a mustache. No, <laughs> Leo, he's probably got a lot of money, man. Someone from the past inherited a lot of money. There's the moon, right? So you have, there's a uncertainty, right? Leo, there's uncertainty. You have to figure it out. Have confidence to figure this out. Leo, have calm. You should go after the guy, man. Look at this. Like there's a soulmate connection. There's a soulmate connection, and one of the one of you guys has a, a good chunk of money. So like, you know, this says you're kind of afraid to do it, or you're uncertain, or you know, you have to overcome personal fears. But you should do it. Like Leo, you should do it because like you're a Leo. <laughs> so, oh look, Leo winning. <laughs> there you go, Leo winning. So go do it. Yeah, you got a good thing going. Don't ruin it, Leo. You got a good thing going. Yeah, nice, nice. All right, Leo, you got a good thing going, winning. Nice. And finally, what does spirit want Leo to know? Da -da -da -da. You were the best thing in my life. Sp Leo, spirit wants you to know they're the best thing in your life, and the timing just wasn't right for you guys. So, like, what are you going to do, man? All right, well, that's the action, Leo. I hope everything else works out for you. All right, next, next, next. Hey, Varag, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to one of our special Virogs on the channel. I was having a bad week last week and she allowed me, she made a comment on, she made a comment and the comment I got to, you know, I was able, I vented my brains out on that comment and I needed to vent. I didn't realize it, but I had been repressing something for a bit. An event happened, a couple of events happened. And I had not, I had really been keeping it to myself and it was clearly bothering me. And so, and you can see something clearly going <laughs> to like, and so to Leon, thanks. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Leon. I really, it is, you know, thanks for not shitting on my head as well. You easily could have like said I was out of line and you didn't. I appreciate that. All right. It's together that makes, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Thanks, Leon. All right. Next, next, next. Let's get down to it. Virago, what's going on with the Virogs? Oh man! Well, first, 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 you guys be careful. No joke. Mars crossing through Virgo, people are going to be attacking Virogs. So don't 
put yourself in the position to get attacked. Not because I was just, I went blah, 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 blah on Liam. Not because of that. Mars in the first house, right there. So, like, be careful. Okay, be careful. And now, excuse me. Although we're talking about, uh, you know, whatever. It's physical violence to your head. Right? So, Gabrielle, watch out. You know, Leon, watch out. Virgo Risings. Mike, watch out. You know, Pisces Throw, watch out. So, watch out. <laughs> you know, Virgo, Virgo Risings, watch out. Virgo Moons are going to be very, uh, have a lot of energy to get out and do things. They're going to be super critical. And for other, other Virgo placements might get a little, Virgo, you have to watch out for violence, right? You becoming violent and violence towards you. So, be careful. Just be careful. Now, Venus is about to go retrograde behind the scenes. So, you know, secret relationships, lovers from the past, doing things in secret. Maybe you're going to make some extra money doing some kind of side hustle no one's going to know about. But that's the deal. But, you know, I just said that no one's going to know about it, right? But, like, that's not true. That stuff that's happening in secret, that secret relationship thing, the sun and Mercury are going to enter into there. And when they do, everybody's going to know about it. So, be super careful. Like, I'm a Scorpio. I, that's the thing that would bug me. Virgo, probably a bug of Virgo as well. So, so those are things you got to deal with. Later on, you know, coming up soon, coming up sooner than we think, Mars is going to oppose Saturn. And so, Virgo, you're going to, Virgos, you're going to get divorced, man. There's cheating in relationships in this chart. The strong possibility of a major fight in relationships. I would imagine Virgos getting divorced. All right. Anything else Virgo needs to know? Watch your money. Watch your money. We've talked about that before. Um, no, I think Virgo's good. I think Virgo's good. I think Virgo's good. Watch for violence. Watch your money. Pregnant. Accidental pregnancy. <laughs> so, like, you'll be okay. Next. All right. Let's see what's going on with the Virgo. All right, Virag, let's do it. Da -na -na -na. Boom! Ace of Blades reversed. Okay, so there is no communication happening. <laughs> Good luck, Virgo. No communication is happening for you. Oh well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna? Do? What are you gonna do? It's long. It's secret. You should be doing things in secret. All right, Queen of Coins. Right, money is gonna be okay. Actually, you know what? Your money is changing. Uh, you you might have not you should be aware of this by now your money is going to change so it's going to dissolve you're going to switch your jobs but shared resources are going to be favorable for you so you, you keep your wits about you it's i don't think you should worry about money although you will worry about money it's the relationship that's going to come under an attack and virgos have to watch out for violence so that's the deal that's the deal or that's the deal six of someone's leaving virgo someone's leaving someone's leaving so there you're gonna go they're thinking there you go there you go you're leaving there's no communication i guess you guys breaking up with somebody maybe you're leaving a job but that's okay because money's going to be okay all right tiger be cool stay out of trouble i hope you have an amazing amazing day here we go virgo take a trip take a trip yeah, you are. Go see some things. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. Virgo, take a trip. Yeah, man, take a trip. Saturday, I'm busy. The only trip I'm taking right now is... <laughs> Virgo Risings, take a trip. Sonny, I've worked 15, I've worked 14 straight days in a row. The only trip I'm taking is an acid trip. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> I'm taking a trip to the, whatever. Here we go, here we go. And finally, what do they want you to know? Wow, spirit can't stop thinking about you. Well, Virgo, maybe you've got some love going on. Well, you have a secret admirer, right? And you guys will be together again. So Virgo energy, there you go, man. Love is looking good for Virgo. Well, actually... The, this 
the Oracle card says it's good, but like this is clearly breaking up. <laughs> this is clearly someone is taking off and there's no communication. So you're taking off. So like, but whatever. Good luck, Virgo. I wish you the absolute best. Next. Hey, Libra, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. Wow. Oh, well, look at this. So, you know, the weekend, the moon is going to be like, so the moon is actually kind of right around here to start the week. And then it's going to shift through like this. So for Libra, it's going to, the week is going to start. Hey, I still hope you're having a beautiful day. The week is going to begin for Libra in a kind of a relationship vibe. You're going to want to give over to your partner this week. So like, whatever, go ahead and do it. Have some fun. Do it. Warning. Libras are going to get a very emotional this week, right? As the moon arcs through all of this stuff, not that, you know, it's emotional because it's very relationship intense for Libra. Libra, Libra risings, Libra moon, Libra moon, Libra moon, Libra moon. You're going to have very intense emotions with regards to partnerships this week so just be cool with it just be cool with it it's not necessarily romantic it could be a business partnership but something is going to happen you might want to break up so be careful with that next okay so that's the first kind of thing you're also going to be focused on shared resources but whatever heads up libra as mars arcs into virgo you're gonna have you're gonna have to watch out for cheating in relationships. You're gonna have to watch out for a hater. Your Libra's gonna pick up a legitimate hater. Someone's gonna stab you in the back. You might have a legal problem, um, but someone is going around behind your back and causing a lot of problems. There might be a legal situation. You might have a hater at work, but someone is going out of their way to mess up with Libra. So watch out for that. On the plus side, Libra, once again, for the rest of the summer, they are absolutely in a friends into lovers transit. So if you're looking for love, Libra, internet dating, check your friends list, <laughs> get out, address the group and see what's going on. There's also a strong, strong possibility. You see this combination right here. I talk about this combination in other parts of the chart with regards to the casino and that kind of stuff. But for Libra, now that Mars is moving on, now Mars is moving on, so you have a hater, okay? Be careful because you have a hater. But strong time for Libra to get a new job or for Libra to get promoted. New job or promotion. So definitely keep your wits about you. It's also a possibility that Libras um, are Libra, Libra rising, that Libra moon, um, are winning awards right now. Awards and recognition for Libra. Of all the zodiac signs, Libra should get out into the world and be seen. Now, this week, week maybe like whatever, right? But like next weekend, you're going to want to get out and you're going to want to get out next weekend. You're going to want to be seen. You're going to want to party it up next weekend. But this weekend, Libra, just do your thing. Watch out for the problems happening behind the scenes. All right, next 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 hey spirit girl yeah well it's money it's it's got to deal with you got to check your money this week you got to check your money <laughs> so this week you got to check your money <laughs> not a big deal just check your money all right next libra boom the moon okay well something is uh, like there's some kind of situation that you have to overcome or there's something that you're a little worried about or there's something, some information you don't know or it's inward energy, right? Libra, it looks like you're confused about something and you're not sure if you have the ability to to rise above whatever's happening and you don't have the ability to go out and actually do it. Maybe you, it's in, it's not, maybe you need a little strength. Maybe you need a little this, a little that, but like it seems to be a little bit of a lack of confidence. Oh, wow but you're super lucky <laughs> you're super lucky so have some confidence libra libra definitely overcome this shyness whatever it is that's 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 whatever it is that you're nervous about whatever you're nervous about don't worry you are super duper lucky libra so don't worry about it. eight of coins look at that again maybe you're gonna meet somebody at work maybe you're gonna like you doing something 
Libra, you're super lucky. You know, buy lottery ticket, Libra. Astrologically, you're not going to win the lottery. <laughs> I don't see you winning the lottery astrologically. But the um, fire signs, fire signs or Taurus, the... But this looks like, you know, keep working, to, uh, Libra. Keep keep doing your thing. Oh, Libra, are you okay? It says you need a hug. The unicorns are saying you need a hug. Squeeze. <laughs> Libra. Oh, Libra, man. I hope you're okay. The Scorpios need a hug. <laughs> yeah, spirit girl. Yeah, folk, do you focus on your money? Shared resources, right? Partner up with someone. Shared resources. You should also win a big uh, legal sum of money somehow if you're into that situation. All right, Libra. Spirit wants you to know my life is not as together as it seems. And I know I messed everything up. Spirit, Spirit wants you to know, Libra, that they know they messed everything up. That's okay, man. I hope everything is super cool with you, Libra. I wish you the absolute best. All right. Next. Hey, Scorpio, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. It looks for Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio, you're going to have some unexpected thing is going to happen with regards to your committed relationships. Maybe they're going to get really jealous and send you divorce papers. Maybe they're going to try and sue you, <laughs> right? Like it's very open legal battles, <laughs> right, are happening for Scorpio. And you're also having all of this stuff dissolving behind the scenes. So whatever is, so there's someone running around behind the scenes creating this south node drain and it's dissolving things and it's causing problems with your subconscious. But then at the same time, intellectual and emotional stumbling blocks should be dissolving as well. Things that, that used to control you, Scorpio, a lot of these ethereal kind of concepts uh, will restructure in the next year. So, but as you go through it, you might find yourself disconnecting from reality a little bit, Scorpio. Just letting you know. <laughs> Just letting you know. All right, next. So, Chiron's in the sixth house. Chiron's in Aries right now. That's causing problems with Scorpio's uh, physical health. In addition to that, it's their health, their day-to-day -day life, and pets. It's also helping other people. So, Right now, so, so Chiron tends to forget things. So if you're looking at a health situation, you always double check it. For the next year, Scorpio, double check all health situations. There might be, Chiron tends to put, turn a blind eye to something, and it's very easy for things to get missed. But knowing Scorpio, because I'm a Scorpio, you're probably going to address it <laughs> so so you're gonna so you're gonna be okay you should be okay your scorpio really should be okay all right next we talked about children last time right saturn is retrograde in pisces that's the uh that's gonna mess up scorpio's love life and it's gonna take your kids away so you have to just blunt i'm just being blunt right now so that's what's gonna happen with scorpio all right, what else is going on? Relationships, you know, relationships and partnerships right there. So there you go. This week, you're going to be focused on relationships and partnerships, unexpected, uh, you know, emotional outbursts, Scorpio. Just watch out for it. Now, at the top of the chart, Venus is going to be retrograde there and Mars is moving on. So Venus retrograde up there for Scorpio, you know, all of that public stuff. Scorpio is extremely high visibility right now. And it's a lot of love coming to Scorpio. It's like if Scorpio is walking down the street, everybody's waving at you. And I'm a Scorpio and that's what's happening. I walk down the street and everybody's waving at me. When I go for a run, people are waving at me. And so that's the deal. Venus up there also means you should probably find like 10 bucks lying on the street. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> like that's a, But that's the kind of thing that's going to happen. If you're looking for love, or money, or anything like that, Scorpio, any kind of anything working out, you have to get out, like outside, or you have to put yourself, your face in front of people. And if, you don't have to put your face, right? But like, if you have to put yourself in front of people, and if you do that, you're going to attract a lot. And that's the deal. Normally, putting your face out there is kind of first house stuff, right? This is actually, that's more like 
going outside. So, Scorpio, I like. If you're trying to attract money, go outside. All right, next. Mars is moving in. You're going to put a lot of energy into dealing with groups of people. But this Mars and Venus breaking up like this, it's, it's going to bode well for a Scorpio career. Scorpios might be uh, thinking of a new job as well, but I don't really see them looking for a new job quite yet. Maybe thinking about it, maybe thinking about it, but not necessarily doing it. All right, next. Anything else? We'll just leave it at that. Next. Scorpio Tarot. Your twin brother and sister, the, the twins are Scorpios. Well, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Here we go. And da -na -na -na. Knight of Coins reversed. Wow, it looks like it's going to be an expensive week for Scorpio. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be an expensive week for Scorpio. Okay, get used to it. What are you going to do? Maybe money, maybe there's, it's going to be an expense. Let's just say it's going to be expensive for Scorpio and leave it at that. The emperor. Oh man. Well, you got to take control of the situation. Scorpio, you got to watch your money. Uh, it's going to be an expensive week. Try not to freak out. Okay. Scorpio at all costs. Try not to freak out. It's expensive money. You're hoping to arrive is not necessarily arriving, right? The knight of coins is reversed. Money's going to be slow to arrive. The amount is going to be less, might be less. And I think it's going to be expensive for Scorpio. It's going to be an expensive week. Eight of coins. This keeps coming up today. This card like never comes up in any readings. I never pick it. And it's comes up like a million times today. Eight of coins. All right, Scorpio. Maybe you're going to like meet somebody at work. Why do people say that? Well, I said that to one of you guys early, to one of the signs earlier, right? But like I look around. There's, 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 nope, this is... I'm at home. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Eight of coins, right? Back to work. Emperor. Yeah, you're going to do it. All right, well, there you go. This money's slow to arrive. Watch for it. All right, here we go. Oh, Scorpio. Scorpio, the unicorns want you to know that you're loved. Watch this. You're loved. You're here for a reason, Scorpio. Don't mess it up. Scorpio, you're loved, and you're here for a reason. It also says, Scorpio, stop obsessing. Look at that. You're not the center of the universe. Stop obsessing. You're loved. Stop obsessing. All right, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. I get it. I get it. I get it. Sort of. Not as much as I think I do. <laughs> like, oh, man. All right. Let's see. Okay, spirit. Make it hurt, spirit. Da -da -da -da. I want to feel that way again. Oh, yeah. With someone else, probably. Yes. <laughs> like, that's what I said. Yeah. I hide behind material things. Oh, yeah. You guys got to watch out. Spirit has a habit of kicking you in the personality. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the deal, Scorpio. I wish you the absolute super duper best of an amazing day. Everybody be cool. Next. <laughs> okay, here we go. Saji's up. Hey, Saj, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. So, well, ah, whatever. You know, this is not the most romantic situation. You know, like, just to let you guys know. So, I have my moon in the sixth house. All right? I'm a bit of a workaholic. I like to go to the gym all the time. I'm very physical. I spend a large part of my life helping other people. All right? I like pets. My moon's in the sixth house. The... So why am I saying that? Like, I, I wanted to say that to you, Saj, something about, oh, my brain's gapping again. <laughs> so like, anyways, so for Sagittarius, but okay, so here's the deal. So that's my moon in the sixth house. That's what Saj is going through. But a moon in the sixth house in a composite chart, astrologically, means the partnership, the team, they're going to just want to work together all the time. It's just, it's this relationship of work. Or Mercury's in the sixth house. All you guys are going to need to talk about work all the time. So, like, you know, just be careful. So what I'm trying to say for Sagittarius is it's kind of a work kind of weekend. <laughs> a kind of a work week. The first half of the week for Sagittarius is going to be focused on work, your day-to-day -day life. But as you approach towards the weekend, towards the weekend and the second half of the week, you are going to be focused on relationships. So, Sag, you know, get out there and do it. 
try your best not to freak anything out. We were talking a little bit on the channel earlier, and right here, this energy right here is squaring Sagittarius, and it's squaring Gemini. Now, if that wasn't negative enough, if that wasn't bad enough, very shortly, there is a major clash that's going to happen astrologically. Major painful clash. Saturn is retrograde moving this way and Mars is moving this way. They're moving towards each other and very soon we're going to have an opposition there. And for Sagittarius and for Gemini, you're going to be caught in a grand cross. You're definitely caught in a T-square. <laughs> definitely. And then you're definitely caught in a T-square and depending on your other placements, you might be caught in a grand cross. So in the next two weeks, Sagis have to watch out for major problems. Sagis and Geminis have, you know, watch out for major problems. Authority figures, right? I don't see jail time for Sagittarius, although Sagittarius is going to have problems with authority figures, right? So very public argument, Sagittarius. There is a problem happening at home, but you just got to deal with what you got to deal with. So that is the heads up for Sag. Okay, that is a major heads up. It will mess you up. So be careful. All right. Next. Anything good? Yeah, there's a lot of good. There's like there's a lot of good. You're entering into a year of romance, right? Sagittarius is entering into a year-long romantic cycle. Romantic and creative. So you know, love is waiting for you, Sagittarius. Now, over here. You know, this retrograde motion here for Sagittarius, they might return back to school. They might travel. So this summer, Sagis might travel or they might return to school. Mars is moving forward. Sagittarius, Sagis have a hater at the office, right? Sagis have a hater at the office and things at work are going to get very, very, very busy for Sag. All right, next. Other than that, I think everything is okay. If you're looking for love, Sag, love is waiting at a distance. Love is waiting at a distance. Which is the travel thing, right? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Next. Saj. Da -na -na -na. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go, Saj. Da -na -na -na. Saj. Seven of coins. Whoa. Don't spend any money. Don't spend any money. Okay. Plan for the future, Saj. Plan, plan for the future. Don't spend any money you don't have. Don't freak out your credit cards. The sun is in cancer, Sagittarius. You should be looking at your credit card right now. You should be looking at your inheritance. You should be looking at shared resources. Oh, man, but don't spend any money you don't have. There is a balance coming to things with justice. Maybe there's a legal situation that you're waiting on, Sagittarius. Maybe there's a legal situation, like an inheritance is a legal situation, or maybe you're waiting for some government money or something. But it's going to come. It's going to come. Right, Saj, you're going to get your money. It's You're going to get your money. Just don't spend your money, right? And you should really plan for the future. Look, 10 of coins. You're probably going to inherit some money. Saj, it, according to the Tarot, Sagittarius, there's some really big, there's a really big chunk of money coming towards them. Mm, that sounds pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this. Saj. Figure things out on your own. Figure things out on your own. And eat your vegetables. <laughs> eat your vegetables and figure things out on your own. Get into Mother Nature. Saj, eat your vegetables. Get into Mother Nature. All right. What does Spirit want Saj to know? And finally, Saj, da -na -na -na, I want to tell you how I feel. And I wish things could be different. Saj, I want to tell you how I feel. And I wish things could be different. I wish you the best, Saj. Next. Hey Capricorn, what's going on? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. All right, well, hey, this is, looks like a quite... Okay, so Capricorn... Okay, so two signs are very lucky in love right now. Um, Aries is very lucky in love right now. And they're going to be lucky in love for the rest of the summer. And the love might not always work out, but that's what's going on. Aries might get pregnant. And Capricorns are very, very lucky in love right now. Accidental, and so that's what's going on with Capricorn. Very lucky in love. In addition to that, the moon is arcing through, right? So that's the deal. Hey, ass. 
so the moon is arcing through right so like you're gonna want to spend some time uh being romantic this week uh, you're gonna want to spend time with children this week and you're gonna want to be very creative this week so like just be cool be romantic do your thing and, en and enjoy the situation now as the nodes progress something big is uh, on the horizon for capricorns at home they're physical home is expanding somehow there you go heads up <laughs> like there's also a wound there right there's a wound happening at home right there is a very clear wound at home and you're gonna have to watch out for the health of your mom but something is there and something you have to watch out for things going missing from the home as well so that's what something's going missing from the house expanding the house and it's like it's a big deal it's a big year of expansion at home for Capricorn so just a heads up with all of that kind of stuff Saturn's retrograde over here watch out for car problems right communication problems car problems communication problems just take it easy just take it nice and easy Capricorn nice and easy traffic delays people getting in the way communication problems just take it nice and easy up here right the money is okay the money is in shared resources so if you need money to pay for anything, Capricorn, it's there, all right? Like people will be giving you money. Maybe you have tenants. Maybe you're going to renegotiate a mortgage. Maybe you're going to win a legal situation. But money is going to be good for the rest of the summer for Capricorn. Just don't spend too much money on other people, okay? That's the major heads up with all of that. Now, there's spotlight for the moment anyways is, is on relationships. So there is definitely love in the air for Capricorn like right now. So get out there and and do it. Get out there. Like there it's it's there. If there was anything, you know, anything else, Mars is moving into the, you know, into Virgo. So for Capricorn, that might be traveling. You might be traveling Capricorn or your attention is held at a distance somehow. Uh someone from, you know, someone might visit you. <laughs> so you know, Mars there's movement from a distance. Anyways, that's the deal Capricorn. There's movement from a distance. Uh but be careful, right? There's movement from a distance, but up close at home there's a problem so you know there you go so there you go just be cool with it up close to home there's a problem but things at a distance really have your attention anything else you need to know right you're super lucky in love watch out that you don't get pregnant massive amounts of accidental pregnancy <laughs> all right and there you go actually it's a good time for capricorns to go to the casino capricorns should go to the casino and Pisces should go to the casino. We're not at Pisces yet, but Capricorn should go to the casino and Pisces should go to the casino. All right, next. So that's the deal, Capricorn. Looks good. Get out, do your thing. There might be, as there might be, as the south node arcs through Libra, might be problems on the horizon at work, just to let you know. All right, next. What do you guys do? Definitely what? Oh, Devon. <laughs> no, it's definitely illegal down there. Oh man, it's illegal anyway. I don't. Know. It's, it's illegal in Canada too. Oh, uh, your mom's sick. Oh, that's not good. Hey, Myrna. I hope you're having an amazing day. What? Well, welcome back. It's great to see you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Capricorn. Da -da -da -da. And dun dun dun. The creator, Capricorn. There you go manifestation you are in manifestation like you that's the deal <laughs> like whatever it is that you want capricorn make it happen wow that's a really powerful card for a very powerful sign <laughs> like that's, oh, that's a really serious thing that i'm thinking right now capricorn the world is yours to make so get out there and make it very sincerely queen of coins wow you're gonna have the money wow if you're gonna have the money I'm telling you not to spend too much money because Venus is retrograde. Venus is going to go retrograde in your shared resources, but you'll have, so don't spend too much on someone because like, you know, it's not what you do on Venus retrograde. But anyways, you're going to have the money and you're going to have the manifestation power. Knight of Blades. Well, information is coming in. Information is definitely, definitely coming in. So like Capricorn, there you go. The news you're waiting for is on the way here we go capricorn time to let go whatever you're stressing about time to let go just move on capricorn the unicorns want you to know that it's time to let go time to move on now as far as spirits concerned let's see 
as far as spirits concerned. Here we go. Da -na -na -na. I wish I could share my good news with you. Da -na -na -na. And you and I were too young. Capricorn, you and I were too young. And although I'm clearly not Capricorn. <laughs> You're a little bit young. But I'm like, I wish I could share my good news with you. And you and I were too young. <laughs> Here we go, Capricorn. All right, whatever. Wish you the best, Capricorn. Good luck. Next. Hey, Aqua, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So what's up? Oh, well, uh, e, uh, ooh, uh, e. so this energy right here is can be a little bit of a problem kind of thing. Thing. Oh, that's brilliant, Nikki. That's awesome. Oh, that's wonderful. Great. Okay, let me do this thing here. Hold on. So Aqua, this energy is so there was a lot of energy in partnerships. Whether it's a business partnership or romantic partnership or you're talking to a lot of people, whatever. There was a lot of energy there. Uh, it could be a legal situation as well, Aquarius. With Pluto backing into Capricorn and with all of this energy over in Leo, is a possibility that there's some kind of legal shenanigans happening. Like you're getting involved in a legal situation and maybe someone is being very sneaky behind the scenes, Aqua. So Aqua, be careful. Watch, keep, stay attentive. So for someone being very sneaky behind the scenes. Now, this, okay, so that's the deal. Okay, so that's the deal. Relationship stuff, legal stuff is going to take a bit of a, uh, the, the, it's going to, it's going to take your attention. Now, one thing that you have to watch out coming up, coming up is your money in a very major way. Okay. Money in a very major way, Aqua, right? Saturn is retrograde in the second house of work, hard, 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 hard work. And it's going to super oppose Mars way at the other side and shared resources. So there's a possibility if you're like, you might lose a legal battle. You might have some bills, major bills that you have to pay like taxes. Uh, you might have a major credit card expense, or you just might find yourself having to uh, make up the difference and pay for someone else money that you thought was going to be there might not necessarily be there so be careful all right so be careful having said that love itself should be there and people are going to want to partner with you they're going to want to partner with you they're going to want to work with you but it's going to be an expensive experience so watch out for all of that in addition to all of that in addition to all of that all of that all of that all of that Aquarius has to watch their health for the rest of the summer. Got it? Watch your health for the rest of the summer, Aquarius. Oh, yeah, you aquas are in the house. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, so that's the deal. All right, what about any other kind of energy? Talking about the house, right? Talking about the house, good things are happening at home for Aqua. Good time for Aquas to make some money from the home. Maybe this year Aqua is going to make a bunch of money in real estate. You know, another way of looking at this, as Mark, Mars arcs through Virgo, it's a good time for Aquarius to renegotiate their mortgage, okay? Good time for Aquarius to renegotiate their mortgage or to get out there and make some money. I, I mean, shared resources. All right, next. It's all cool, Sue. Oh, dizzy. Ooh. Oh, Sue, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, here we go. Akawa. Seven of coins again. Here we go. Well, like, don't spend any money you don't have. Save your money. It's going to be as Ma when Mars enters into Mer Virgo, it's going to be difficult for Aquarius to save money. But long term thinking, Virgo, long, sorry, Aqua, long term thinking, long term thinking. Just, wow, these same cards are coming up, but I'm shuffling the deck sitting here. All right, well, there's a balance. Well, long, maybe you're going to win a legal battle, Aquarius. This is what we've been talking about. Legal battle, unshared resources. Plan, you know, whatever it is, Aqua, just take your time and just take your time. There's something happening. 
money is going to be there watch your credit cards oh no ten of swords well you're definitely letting go of something all right watch out you know be careful keep your wits about you aquarius you know there's going to be a release here there's clearly some kind of ending or a release so keep your wits about you you know keep your wits for a gemini moon what <laughs> it's really for the for the gemini moon the, well, oh you're ah oh, pam you're oh no grand cross oh you're talking about you're ta back on sagittarius right gemini moon gemini moon's gonna feel it really hard gemini moon is gonna feel it they have to watch out e emotionally it's gonna be emotionally very very difficult for a gemini moon oh yeah no joke okay next because mars is gonna square the moon here we go aqua the ten of swords yeah whatever you're thinking about aquarius whatever you are thinking about don't do it aquarius whatever you're thinking about don't do it now is not the time wow there's so many cards telling us not to do anything right now and so many things but i sort of think i'm getting impatient and i'm waking up except for the constant hangover i'm waking up <laughs> and so the we're um so you guys we're waking up <laughs> so we're coming back all right what does spirit want you to know aqua you and i were too young you and i were too young and you were the best thing in my life aqua you were the best thing in my life you and i were too young and you were the best thing in my life all right next and finally dearest pisces hey pisces i hope everything is cool with you guys thanks for sticking it out with me you know i made it here because of you you know we're here because of you you know you made you know you helped me make it i appreciate that thanks for keeping me company during the horoscopes so pisces watch your health right watch your health but don't go crazy about it venus is going to go retrograde venus is going to remain retrograde in the sixth house in leo so pisces for you you should have a lot of free time for the rest of the summer Pisces, you should have free time during your day. I don't know if you're going to quit your job or if you're just going to lose your job or you decide not to work or vacation. But Pisces, for the rest of the summer, it's going to be nice and easy and relaxed. Good time to work on your health, your habits. Uh, get a new job. If you're looking for a new job, Pisces, it's a good time to get a new job. Moving forward, there might be some breakup in relationship for Pisces. There might be cheating in relationship, arguing in relationship, you know, just breaking up, right? So breaking up, cheating, arguing, divorce, might be some violence in relationships, Pisces. Just watch out for the all of that, all that nonsense. But definitely, that's it's going to be serious for Pisces and for Virgo. This re, Pisces and Virgo, this relationship situation is going to be very serious. So keep your wits about you and try not to stress it out too much. It's going to get more and more intense as time moves forward so just a heads up on that all right what else do you need to know pisces that's it <laughs> that's not it all right what else is going on over like there's a lot of emphasis on communication and transportation so pisces if you're looking you know but i'm telling you don't buy any car <laughs> when venus is retrograde don't buy anything but the um you know later on in the year is going to be okay like this is a good year for communication this is a good year for increasing things it's a good it's a good year for social media you know ginger it's a good year for so and mike you know guys and, and erica all the where is erica still here for all the pisces it's a good year for communication and social media kind of stuff so get out there spread the word see what's going on see what's going on and and try not to freak out or like priestess you know driving driving is really good this year Watch out for sudden and unexpected problems, right? With Uranus there. But it's also a possibility of sudden and unexpected good things as well. So just a heads up. Just a heads up, right? Make sure your brothers and sisters are okay. But that's the deal. That's the deal. The rest of the year is communication and transportation. Uh, work on your health, habits, and just be cool with everything. Guys, this retrograde Venus energy is going to square the stellium in Taurus, right? Just to let everybody know coming up right venus love and attraction it like is going to square everything in taurus so everybody be careful and 
uh, like I said, what's happening now is what's supposed to happen. And what's going to happen later on is what's supposed to happen. But what happens next month is just like, what well, you know, just have some fun. And that's the deal, Pisces. Watch out for problems in relationships. That's it. That's it. Work on your day-to-day -day life. It should be a very romantic time for you. And I think everything is cool. What? Just make sure you don't injure yourself. Just watch, watch your health and you'll be okay. All right, next. Yeah, wait until the end of September. That's the time to do it as well. End of September. <sighs> All right, here we go. Well, I can. I can. <laughs> but like, I, I, I want to rent the house out. Nine of Swords, Pisces. So you guys are worried about something. So you're worried about something. You're worried about something. What are you worried about? I don't have any other tarot cards here. What are you worried about, Pisces? Oh, you're worried about a relationship. You got to have the conversation. Pisces, you need to have the conversation with someone, right? Judgment, judgment day, getting called out. You're worried about something. Your partner, four of wands, your partner. Pisces, you're worried that you have to have a conversation with your partner. Wow, that's kind of bizarre. Page of coins, business, money should be pretty good, Pisces. Money's pretty good, but you're worried that you're going to have an argument. You have to have the talk with someone. And then the ten of coins. Wow, money's really good. Good. <laughs> Congratulations, Pisces. Money is really good. All right, what do the unicorns want you to know? Pisces, put the phone down. Pisces, put the phone down. Too much screen time is making you weird. Go talk to a live person. Pisces, put the phone down. Here we go. Here, let's finish it up. Hey, Kayla, I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. Pisces, Spirit wants you to know they knew exactly what they were doing. And dun dun dun, I know I messed up everything. Pisces, I know I messed up everything and I knew exactly what I was doing. And that's the action, guys. From the sunny sun. And that's the action. Here, let's end this video and then I'll hang out with you guys for a bit. And that's the action, guys. Wishing everyone the best of a super amazing day. Please share the videos. You know, if anything resonates, leave messages in the comment section. You guys know how to use YouTube. And that's the deal. So that's the deal. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the best of a super, super amazing day. Good luck, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.